affair here. Aziz Kalim, four years the younger, but has a nine centimetre height advantage. The cage control factor from a taste may be the difference maker. He's very comfortable in there, a veteran of one championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds of five minutes in a one championship strongweight contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is an Indonesian karate champion, standing at 172 centimeters tall, training out of Han Academy and Indo Gym, representing Indonesia. He is Aziz the Grosser. He is the one strawweight Indonesia tournament champion, standing at 163 centimeters tall, training out of Tiger Shark Fighting Academy, representing Indonesia. <laughs> Presenting to you, Adrian Papua Bad Boy Ortiz. <laughs> and with the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Olivier. Alright guys, watch out for headbutt, low blow, back of the head and spine. I want to clear her fight. Third one if you want. And back your corner. Instructions from our referee, only be a cut. We are set for a strawweight contest between Adrian Mateus and Aziz Kalim. Both men from Indonesia. Ready? Ready? Stadium, the store crowd here in downtown Jakarta, Indonesia. Trunks on Aziz Kalim, White on Adrian Mateus. And he loops the punches early as Mateus goes head hunting. Kalim driving tight down and puts Mateus on his back. He used these steps over the half guard of Mateus. You can see right there, there's just that shoulder pressure. That could be a choke if he applies that shoulder pressure because Mateus is holding on to the head right there. For the Von Flute choke, applies a lot of pressure with the shoulder right on that, that neck of your opponent, he might want to choose to let go of that, as he doesn't look like he's going for it, though. Side control, position here for Aziz Kalim. Good control here from Aziz Kalim. He's got that hip lock there on the right, the left side, and that shoulder pressure right there on the, left, the right side, so you can see and the taste is just kind of pinned to the ground. It's hard for him to bridge out. He's going to have to shoot, scoot onto his side, his right side, and then start shrimping away, moving the hips away. Good job from the taste almost to get back in, but he gives up his back in the process. Kalim straight on to the back of Adrian Matei, trying to get the hooks in and see if he can flatten him out for a choke attempt. Good job by Aziz to transition to the back. You can see Mateus trying to spin in, and he gets out. Nice. And Mateus goes head up to the game with the heavy artillery, catches him with the left hand. They pinch up now, Kalim puts him back against the cage. What a start from Aziz Kalimi, Shoto Khan, Karate Sarlis. See, this is where Mateus gets a little bit overzealous. He starts to rush in, and rather than, you know, keeping his distance and staying patient with things get back to the feet, he likes to bum rush his opponents, backing them up, and he ends up in positions like this. Trying to use that hip pump right there to get back up on top. As he's kind of got the underhook on that side, now he's got that body lock, drags him back down to the ground. Good wrestling showcase by the karate champion from Indonesia. Fantastic work so far for Kalim. Side control again from him as we approach the halfway mark of this opening round, set for three by five. Cuts the hip in here, does Aziz. That side control position. Where does Mateus go from here? He tried to cut that left arm, but he got it out there, did as it's coming. And Mateus whipping punches again. As his closes up down the hurry. He rushes in again. He does all that effort to get back to his feet, and then he just rushes forward, you know, and Aziz is able to relax, stay calm, get that body lock, and see if he can spin away and go for an outside trip here. He attempted it, but didn't quite get it. 
And the taste now is going out to the ground. Now he's going out to the legs trying to get for a single. And the taste now is going out to the ground. Now he's going out to the legs trying to get for a single leg. Watch him up to the tires. Make sure he gets this truck up now. We will see some of that karate style from Aziz Kali. Looping punches again from Gonzalez. Don't know if he'd rather more effectively come up the centre rather than the blue ball punches here. Makes it a little predictable. Got the rope. And that takedown from Gonzalez. The crowd loves it. Become quite the fan favourite here in Indonesia, A.T. Gonzalez. Because of his style, it's all or nothing. You know, he just rushes in, swinging those big punches. A lot of times, he's successful. But Aziz, you know, he's very calm, relaxed when he's doing this, even here on the ground. He's trying to do a little bit of wrist grabbing, making sure he has the right position. He's able to stand back. I mean, it remains. First round. Oh, there's the pushing getting a high kick from Aziz Kalim. And Adrian Matej backs it against the cane. Matej is dropping down. Look at that double leg. Puts the right leg, nice take down there from Mateus in half guard position now. Good job for Mateus to get him, get Kalim to the ground. And now we can see what but Kalim's like off his back. Oh, Mateus easily slides into mount. And here comes the ground and pound with 30 seconds remaining. The big elbow dropped from on a high by Adrian Mateus. He was patient with those elbows, he picked his shots. He wasn't too overzealous, like he is on the feet. He was able to pick him up. Double elbow. But he's given Kalim a little bit of sp space and time by going up so high. Kalim's able to slide out of the way. But a very dominant position to end the round for Mateus. The crowd in Jakarta love it. Mateus tried to set up for an armbar. To no avail, though. Of course, we got it out. Right that distance, right, ready, as he's closing that distance, rush, duck under the, get that takedown again. Round continues to file into Stadium Astora in Jakarta, Indonesia. It's one warrior's dream. We're watching mixed martial arts contest between Kalim and Matthias. Good fast release of the hands there from Kalim. Both men have their moments on the ground in the first. Aziz Kalim will take the outside control. He was in this position for quite a bit of time in the opening round. Aziz Kalim. Chooses to switch his hips, face, the taste. Now he goes back to neutral. See if he tries to put that right knee on the belly. It doesn't look like he's trying to do it. Looks like he might be trying to pin that arm. Yep. Mateus powers his way out of it to get back up to his feet. And he goes after the guillotine. Looks like a DDT right there. Adrian Mateus trying to lock the choke here. And it's a tap out. Mateus has done it again. The Papua bad boy brings the house down. And what sportsmanship, what martial arts spirit, what respect. Wow, beautiful jumping guillotine there. And he went all out for it. Look at this. Jumps into the air, lands in the guillotine, gets that squeeze going on, arches the back back a little bit right there. Look at this. Catches the head, jumps guard, rolls over, has that guillotine nice and tight. He starts pulling with his right arm, sinks it in just a little bit tighter, and Aziz was forced to tap his way back home to Saudi Arabia. Competing at Indonesia. Celebratory dance for Adrian Mateus, the Papua bad boy. He is elated, as is the crowd here in Stadium Astora. Here's Dominic Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has called a stop to this contest after 57 seconds in the second round. For your winner, by way of guillotine, Adrian Mateus! Adrian, Adrian Mateus, the Papua bad boy, gets the win by second round guillotine choke in Jakarta, Indonesia. Having a good time, as always, the Papua Bad Boy.